Hello and welcome to Robot Framework Tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about page object model and how we can utilize page object modeling design pattern into Robot Framework. So before we get started and get into the implementation details, it is very important to understand what exactly is page object model design pattern. So page object model design pattern is the very popular design pattern in the test automation and the reason for its popularity is because of the test maintenance and the reduction in the code duplication so if you use page object modeling design pattern into your test automation uh, framework and uh, use the key concepts of the page object model then it will enhance the maintainability of the code that you are writing for your test automation as well as it becomes very easy to figure out the code duplication and the code duplication reduces a lot when you are using this design pattern now let's understand what exactly is a page object so page object is nothing but it's an object oriented class okay so in java for example it's it's an object oriented class which serves as an interface between your test cases and the pages of your application that you are testing so for example let me open the slide here right so here we have in the robot framework we had defined user defined keywords right so without page object implementation the test cases that we have seen till now is basically say these are the test cases dummy test cases that i have written so verify logged in user can perform basic search right so these test cases what we have done is in the first scenario or in the first test case what we did is we directly called selenium library um, keywords and written our basic search test cases then we externalize those keywords into user defined keywords right and then in the user defined keyword robot file we called the selenium library which is the external library now then in the test cases we were no, no more calling the selenium library we were directly referencing the resources of the user defined keywords now when we talk about the page objects right so page object will be a class um, and in the page object what we define is basically will define the basic functionality for example uh, you have the login page so any logical segregation in your application say for example login page home page checkout page or the card page or your navigation bar so navigation bar if you notice for example in ebay ebay or amazon most of the pages navigation bar bar remains static in most of the pages so it it becomes a logical entity to create one page object for that navigation bar because it's common across multiple pages and the functionality of that navigation bar can be re reused at multiple in multiple test cases so when we say page object we are basically saying in this design pattern that we'll define a class or a file in which we will define all the key functionalities of that particular page and the uh, element locators as well right now you you can have those element locators in directly in the page objects but that's also not the good approach so what you can do is you can define the functionalities of the page so for example on the login page you can define the uh, the keywords for the login uh, for providing the input into the username into the password and then clicking on the login button and then all the locators of that particular login page can be moved out to the page element locators file which can be dot python file in the robot framework similarly all the element locators of the home page can be moved into the element locator so what this will um, achieve is that say so tomorrow there is something changed or some locator has been changed in the login page or home page or checkout page there is just one file which is page element locators file whatever name you provided to it you need to go to that particular file 
and update the locators there you don't need to touch anything in the uh, the page objects which is the the pages that you have defined so home page login page checkout page or the cart page or any other page that you think of in your application or you don't even do not need to do anything into the user defined keywords or in the test cases so that is the advantage of using the page object modeling design pattern into your test cases it helps you to ease the maintenance of your test cases as well as it avoids a lot of code duplication now coming to code duplication say for example here in these test cases you can see verify logged in user can perform basic search then another test case says verify logged in user can add items to cart so these are four test cases which utilize logged in user right so logged in user is basically the common functionality which needs to be there for each and every test cases so a user needs to be logged in before you can perform your test cases now if you don't use any of the user defined keywords or the page object design pattern what will happen is in each of your test cases you will be directly calling the selenium library and then utilizing the login username login um, password and then clicking on login button so these three lines of code or three or four lines of code for the login functionality will be repeated in each and every test cases that you write so in this case there are four test cases so these uh, these three four lines of login functionality will be duplicated in each and every test case of your suite now coming back to the page object implementation this login functionality will be moved out into the page object login page yeah? and the element will be moved out to the element locators now you, what you can do is from this login page directly you can define your user defined keyword for the login functionality and you can directly call that user defined keyword login with the username and password and you don't need to duplicate or hard code the locators and the page elements in each of your test cases now at this particular point it won't be making a lot of sense to you but in the next tutorial i'll walk through the design page object design pattern and how to convert the test cases that we have so for example here if you see so we have the basic search which is the test case right so which could be something like um, this this test case here which is the basic search test case which is now referencing at the moment to the resources file which is the common functionality and the user defined keywords now in the next tutorial what I'll do is I'll create the page objects for each of these pages for the eBay website and then we will move these user defined keywords or these locators to the locators file and the page object file and then we'll see the structure how you can use page object model in the robot framework so hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching